Are you itching for some largemouth bass, crappie, and bluegill in North Dakota? Well, if you are, stay tuned. You're going to love it. Also, stay to the end, and Craig Kramer from Six Pack Custom Cranks is going to share with us how he likes to fillet his fish. Nine pounds of sunfish or bluegill and crappie and bass on Nelson Lake. Good fish tacos. Exactly where your bobber was, you cast back that spot. That's where it's like they hold in like one little spot. Yeah, uh, finally, yes. That was a little bass you got earlier. Oh, there you got him. There's there's no bait on it. <laughs> huh? There's nothing on it. I guess there's some rem remnants of the previous, but. Wow. <laughs> I need to go see if I got some of my tungsten jigs. Ah, you, you know, those are the only way to get these little ones. Yeah. Feel free to pull that in when it, because there's really a, just a little bit of flesh on the end of the hook. But. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? That's what he said, where you caught with just a little tiny dab of worm. You caught four of them. Yeah. yeah. Okay, black licorice doesn't work. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> gotta try it. Well, I got least... a buddy that uses for bass fishing. He uses grape bubble gum. Yeah. Gets the big gum, chews it for a little while, then hooks it on and uses it. I suppose that'd be softer, where this would be a little harder. Yeah. But a lot of it is, you just got the sugar and from your chewing the salt stuff in it, so it gives all that off. While oh it's yeah. In there, so it's got. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a good texture then for him. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I did. I didn't have any bait when I was out on that in Minnesota, so oh, this yeah. is what I ended up doing for yeah. these cr these little sunfish. Yeah, that looks like it'll work. <laughs> Gulp. Yeah. And it stays on there better. Yeah. 
I actually had some in there too. I thought about that, but I didn't. I wasn't thinking about cutting it in pieces like that. That's a good idea. Yep, there's another little one. Oh, not too bad. See if this is gonna do anything for you. Little gulp. Oh, sure. Thank you. Yeah. I'm giving it to you because I don't see anything happening on mine. <laughs> but I know there's fish over there for sure. I'll still be on there. I can't. still biting anyway. There you got him. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. Yep. Dandy. Ooh, that's a big one. Yeah, it's got some heft. That's a dandy. Probably not be talking while you're catching them. You probably are. Oh, it doesn't matter to me. You'll watch it later. You'll be the only one. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be the only guy to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> and he just bogarted that though again. It's a good size. Yeah, that's a dandy. That's actually. I think that's the biggest one I've ever caught. I right think there. that's one of the biggest ones today. That's a dandy. It's funny because usually they have the yellower belly, you know, but this one's like a white belly, but he's got a nice color up here. Mm -hmm. No, that's a nice one. Huh. I think I caught 40 or 50 of them with one gulp. With one? Oh my God. Just out in yeah, Minnesota. I drive on, pat them dry. Thank you very much. Yeah. Got one on. Hmm, how much money? <laughs> <laughs> That's what's happening over here. I almost did. I was yeah, almost going to be like, That's for 10 bucks he's not. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking he wasn't either. Yeah, just by fact. I've been doing it. You pulled up when I said it. We've lost a lot of fish over here because they should just nibble, just peck. That was a good one if you want it. He's a decent size. Right? Oh wow. Oh yeah, we'll take his little tushy home. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, they don't, they don't catch got many, but when they catch them on that way. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. They're not firing off on all the time. using the bobber.
it, Tim. Wow, it's actually pulling drag. Crazy. This is gonna be tricky. Wow. <laughs> wow. I, yeah. Wow. Wow. That's actually, again, the biggest sunfish I've ever caught. Right there, Nelson Lake. And my buddy Craig Kramer, six pack custom cranks. Wow. Honestly, that is like, that's bigger than the Minnesota one I caught. First try, hooking it up. Wow. Who'd have thought? Right? <laughs> what are the odds of hooking a styrofoam little cup out of another lake? With wind and bobbing and shaking and moving. Just snagged it. I don't know, that was a long ways away too, it wasn't. Crazy. Cleaning up the lake. That's a nice one. You guess it likes jerky. That's amazing. There you go. It's an actual fight. Yeah. I was like, oh, close to your line. I'm like, oh, no, you don't. Again. There you go. As the day goes, that's a keeper. Thank you, sir. Yep. <laughs> Here, I'll get the bag. Oh, okay. That'll be, that oh, way yeah. we don't. <laughs> I'll try to donate him to the cause. Shoot. Okay, if I'm gonna go get a nice dirty, I might as well get a good and dirty. <laughs> I almost grabbed my crankbait that my daughter got named on after Emma called the Emanator. Yeah. It's got a blue back and a red belly and it's done with a translucent color. Hold it up, you can actually see through it still. Nice. That thing works phenomenal. Be just like schmelt then. Yep. That thing works so good. And it's on a minnow bait. I know I have it on every color, but I do it on the flicker shot and I do it on the, the flicker minnow. And that flicker minnow one, man, that thing works great for that. I brought it with today and then I brought the uh, one of my Wonder Bread ones with fat wobbler, but so runs shallow. I was gonna put that on when I was like, ah, it's windy, I'm gonna run, run some worms. See how much I don't get a kick out of it, those guys with the wind was blowing in the other direction. Oh, did you just miss that? Yeah. Wow. And uh, the wind was blowing in the other direction, they were fishing the far side, catching all the fish. And when the wind changed direction, they kept fishing over there. But yeah, it should come to this side. Fish the, the you, you got him again, huh? Yeah. Nice. Oh, beauty. <laughs> Is he gonna jump again? Jump right in. Ooh, nice. There you go. That's a beauty. That was three casts, two fish. I like those eyes. That's great. <laughs> Nine pounds of sunfish or bluegill and crappie and bass on Nelson Lake. 
Craig. Nice. Good fish that is a that's a good haul there. I just want to give a shout out to Gary and his son Thomas out on the fishing pier today. It was a blast meeting you guys and thanks for sharing your hospitality and your night crawlers with us. Next time we'll see you out on the lake, hopefully it'll be an open water in the boat.